everybody. This is Donna Miller with Miller Crafts and today we are going to make a Happy Uncle's Day card instead of Happy Father's Day card because I feel like uncles do a lot and they help raise the children in the family also and they're just as important as fathers. So I wanted to celebrate my uncle with this card and my uncle loves the zoo and his favorite animal is a tiger and the inspiration from this card came from a painting that he has in his house and it's of a tiger and I wanted to kind of take that painting and make it look like the tiger was popping out of the picture from his house. So I have Distress Oxide, Peacock Feathers, and Broken China. And what I did is I took the Lawn Fawn, this is one of their cloud die cuts, and I cut out some plastic. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby. If you go to my blog, I have all of the materials that I use on my blog. So I found this makeup brush. This is Glam and Beauty three-piece makeup brush set. I got this from Walmart. It was like $5.00. I've heard everybody uh, raving about these, and I thought, why not try it out and see if it's as good as they claim it is. So, now the one thing about this brush that I can already tell is it's really flimsy. And I can tell that this I guess it has a lot of give in it, but that's okay. So let's look and see how that did. All right, so just popping that off for the first layer of clouds. You can look at that. That has very defined and sharp lines. So far, I'm really liking this. And it was only $5 and you got three brushes. So why not try it out? Okay. I have another one over here. I'm just going to use the opposite colors. I think as I'm going through here, I'm going to kind of leave the tops uh, the color of the paper just so that it has a little bit of difference because it looks like over on this corner I didn't do that very well and it, it looks like it's going to fade out. So, oh yeah, that still looks really good. I'm not going to worry too much about that corner though because I'm going to put um, a frame around this anyway, so I think it'll be okay. I'm just going to kind of offset this. Alright, so this looks really good. This is my cloud background that I'm going to use. I really like the way that turned out. I think I got some really good edges. It looks like puffy clouds. So this little brush for $5, I really like it. I think it did a great job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a green color. So I'm just going to wipe this off, get all that excess blue off of there on a paper towel so that there won't be any blue residue left. And then I'm just going to switch colors to green. Now one thing you would want to do is when you're using this, Make sure that you don't change from oxide to just regular distress because the inks are different and you don't want to mess up your colors. I have my grass that I'm going to use. This is also a Lawn Fawn die cut. I think this is the Lawn Fawn Meadow Borders die. So I am using Lucky Clover and I just wanted to go over the green just to kind of give it some more dimension. It doesn't look like it gave it any more added color. I'm feeling like Lucky Clover and this green I picked were the same color of green. So maybe there's a little bit of a difference, but I really can't see it, but that's okay. All I can say is that I tried. All right, now we're gonna put this little picture frame together. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start with putting the background stuff in there first. So I'm going to put the grass in there before I put the frame on. So I'm using, I'm going to use art glitter glue to glue this down. I'm just going to take my scissors and on the parts that it showed over, I'm just going to cut that, trim that down on both sides. Oh, 
Okay, so these images here are coming from Miss Kate Cuttables. This is the Zoo Fun Paper Pack. So if you want to, you can look in my videos and I have an unboxing video of that. So you can just go to the unboxing. So I'm going to glue this little tree down and then I have this little vine that I think I'm going to have. I'm going to glue that down coming from the corner. So this is going to be our wallpaper and then I have, I'm going to have this other card piece going right there just to kind of emulate the tiger and then I'm going to have this going here. So like this would be the background of the wall and I got this outline template. I don't know if you can see this. This is from Paper Crafts with Melody Lane and Friends. Every week they give you a design. And so I'm using this design. Sometimes when you get stuck or you can't think of what to do, go to things like this. There's groups out there that will help you and they'll give you outline designs. So that's where this design outline is going to be coming from. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm going to go ahead and glue all of that down to my card base. Now here's the little tiger that I have. And I'm going to use an action wobble and pop my tiger off of an action wobble. This is from, uh, the designs from Miss Kate Cuttables. And I just got the action wobble off of Amazon. So when he gets this card, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna look like that tiger's popping out of the picture frame and I really like that. I think that's neat. All right, my sentiment says it's your day and this is from Cards TV Mini Messages and I'm really going through this stamp set. I love this stamp set. If you are a beginner card maker, I would recommend starting with this stamp set first because you can use it all year round and that's what I love about this stamp set. It seems like more and more this is my go-to stamp set. So I'm going to glue that down and we'll take a look at this finished card. Here is my finished card. It says it's your day and he'll spring out as soon as they open the card. So, oh he's so cute. I just feel like he's in the jungle. I love it. All right, the inside says, hope your day is filled with little moments that make you feel remembered, celebrated, and loved for who you are, and that someone very special. Happy Uncle's Day. So don't forget your uncles on Father's Day, too, because I think they are important people in our lives also. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this card, please click and subscribe for another video coming soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.